Let's let me walk you to the step to create the part shown. First, create a guide sketch on the front frame. So I create a front frame sketch. Draw a line. Draw a line and give it a line. You draw a center line, vertical center line, and switch vertical, and give an angle of 26 degrees. Okay, the length of this line the length of this line is 60. This line, 80. And the angle between these two lines, 140. Okay, let's see the sketch. Next, create a plane perpendicular to the line. So, I, I use the plane command. First reference, I select this line. Second reference, I select the point. So, a plane created perpendicular to the line. Click OK. Next, on the right plane, I create another guideline. So, on the right plane, I sketch. Number two, I create another guideline, horizontal. Okay, I see the sketch. I go to isometric view. I can create a, a plane inclined to this angle, in, to this line. Click the plane command. So, the first reference, I select this line. Second reference, I select this line. So, a plane is created. Next, we are going to sketch on the on plane 2. The profile. So maybe hide the plane first. Click hide. Click hide. I select the plane. Say sketch. In normal two. Okay. I want to hide this sketch. Click. You can hide from here, click, and then say hide. And now I'm going to draw center line. Make sure it's vertical. Use the dynamic mirror entity command. Click. So whatever you draw on the right, it will mirror to the left. Create a line. Create another angular line. Another angular line. One more angular line. Close it. Next dimension. From here to the center line. This one is 126. Here, the center line here, 60, and the angle between this one, 
So it's 55 degree. Enter. Draw a center line. The angle over here is three degree from here to here. Three degree. You can see here three degree. Okay. And a distance fireman from from the intersection of the two line fireman. So I make the sketch. I show the sketch. Uh, you can see the point there. So maybe a height. I hide the relationship icon. I go to dimension from here to here. A dimension again from this to this point here is five. Number two. So the so the sketch is still is still not fully defined. So this this I mean this dimension I make it. Yeah. Anyway, dimension are important uh, because this is only for you to practice. I miss the, uh, I miss out the dimension here. So now the sketch is should be fully defined. This line here. Two six. So just to just to define it, lah. Fully define just dimension. So remember, uh, this dimension not important. Uh, just for practices. Okay, let me exit the sketch, and then we have, we we want to uh, extrude the profile in this direction, not perpendicular to the plane. So we need to draw another guideline. So from the front plane, I sketch number two. Okay, let me draw a center line. Escape. So we select the sketch profile and then we go to feature extrude. You can see that the extrusion is the extrusion is always perpendicular to the sketch plane. But I want it to be in this direction, so I click the direction here. I click this line. So now it, it project in this direction, and the distance is twenty eight. Okay. So we have completed the this this profile here. Next. On plane one, we are going to create a circle. Go to plane one. Sketch. Normal two. Remember, uh, dimension are important because we are just practicing how to draw. But when you are doing product design, of course, the, the, the dimension counts. So let me create a circle. Just make it coincident to the edge. 
and then just dimension it. Just follow this dimension. Or make it 40. Okay. You see this guy? So now we are going to extrude up to surface. So the sketch is selected, I go figure, extrude up to surface and select the surface. Enter. Next we create a 3mm fillet. So I go to fillet 3mm. So I select the edge here. Okay. So you will have another fillet of 12 mm. You go to fillet, change to 12 mm. Select this edge here. Select this edge. Delete. I want the H. Okay, H1, H2, okay. So if you want to hide this line, you just click and hide. Same thing, click and hide. So now our model is completed. Thank you for watching the, the video.